Hi, I'm Miss Bazaar. I'm Sarah Sampaio, and I'm about to show you guys how I take care of my hair. Uh, so I just took a shower and I used a shampoo and conditioner. I tend to swap a lot. Like I, I like love trying different shampoos and conditioners, see what works best with my hair. I have really long hair and lots of it, thick hair. So I tend to go for really heavy conditioners and those are really hard to find. So I've just been using this one from Kendra Platinum. This is the Lux Shampoo and I like the restorative conditioner again because it's I can really get a brush through my hair. Most conditioners I can't. So I really like this one. I like to put a towel on my hair to get it rid of the excess of water. I know you're supposed to do like a microfiber, but I just feel like they're never thick enough and they just get soaked very quick. So yeah, this is what I do. A few minutes, maybe five minutes, and then I just remove it, stay like the excess, and voila. So this is my hair. My hair is very wavy in the back but it's kind of straight in the front. I usually let it air dry and I'm gonna show you what I do when I let it air dry. I also have bangs, so my favorite thing to do is to let it air dry. So the first thing I do, I get a brush like this. I like when they have really long things like that. <laughs> so I can really get through my old hair. So. Usually I do middle parts, usually already like my hair is already learned how to do a middle part and I'll just brush it. I'm not going to do these next steps because I'm obviously not going to let it air dry for you guys. I'm going to do something else, but when I air dry, usually I put I love this product. My hairdresser, Marty, told me about it and I'm completely obsessed. It's called Color Wow Dream Coat for Curly Hair. It really helps with the frizz, especially if you have like curly hair and it's perfect for if you want to hair dry. So I just literally just put it everywhere and I'll put a little bit of leave-in conditioner. I love this from Ceremonia. It's Deep Hydration Repair Cream Guava Leave-In Conditioner from Ceremonia. I think that's the way you say it. And I'll do like two pumps and I'll put it on my ends and then I'll just like scrunch it like that. I'll just leave it there and, and then I'll go over my bangs. And when I do my bangs, I'll like do this and then I'll do that, the little out. And then I'll get one of these little pins. I'll put, it, I'll put the rest behind my ears to give like that really nice, you know, bend. And then I'll do this side, pin it. And then usually I just go through my makeup, um, get dressed. And if you have, have time, then like usually just dries very nicely. But today I'm gonna show you what I do when I don't have time to let it air dry. So first thing I do, this is my favorite product. I don't use it all the time. I barely use it, but when I want to do like Hollywood waves or I want my hair with a little bit more texture, this is what I use. It's called Bedhead by TG Superstar Queen of the Day Thickening Spray. This is the only thickening spray I like to use. You can either put it like on your hands or you can spray it directly on your hair. So that's done. Now I've been really obsessed with this product. It's also from Kendra Platinum, so it's pretty cheap and easy to get. And it's a glow dry spray. It smells amazing and it kind of protects the hair if we're about to use any heat tools or anything. So it kind of smells like coconut. I think it's coconut. And I'll just put it a little bit everywhere. And now I'll get my favorite tool that ever was invented. The hair wrapper from Dyson. I suck at blow drying my hair because I could never do like with the brush and the hair, like I'm just not very good at it. I like things simple and this has been saving my life. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna start by putting this on. And I'm gonna dry until it's a little bit damp. So stay with me. Oh, and 
I always keep my middle part and I make sure I blow and I don't like do crazy things because I don't want to gain volume here. And don't worry about the bangs, we'll deal with them later. Okay, it's a little bit damp, which is exactly kind of what we want. So I get my brush again and I go through it. Now, these annoying things. <laughs> when I first got my bangs, I think I had a, a little panic attack for the first two days because I did not know how to style them uh, until my hairdresser, I cut them, bash, group shout to him, taught me how to do it super easy so the first thing you want to do even if you wake up in the morning and your fringe is like a mess the first thing you have to do is wet it i like to use one of these things it's great and you have to make sure you're wetting the roots because otherwise you can try to move them as much as you can and it's just not going to work then i'll just like remove a little bit of the excess of the water i'll wet them again and what do you want to see, like, if you dry them like that, most of them do this, which I hate. I like when they just go like this. So the trick to dry them is to get the dryer like this, and then you move it and you keep doing this. It just teaches the root not to stay in the same way. So let's do it. So what it does, it's like, it just, See, your bangs doesn't, don't really go anyway, but no way I look like a duck. <laughs> so I'll just brush it again, and then I'll separate. I'll do my middle part. And now this is the trick. You see, like, you're still doing something weird, so I'll do this. It's on the heat, and you're gonna do this. And before you fit, see, or like that, but because you did it in, in the heat, you push it all the way up to go for the cold after you do the heat. So you start with the heat and then you push it up. And that's, look at the difference, so much cooler. And then you get one of these again. These are your best friends if you have a fringe. And you just put it there and then we'll do the other side. And then you get one of these and you press it. And now you can go to the rest of the hair. Now, as you can see, my hair has so much volume. So the first thing I wanted for it to look natural, probably the only person that does that, I, I blow dry it and then I curl it. So I make it long and then I curl it. So because I have this big machine now, I'll take this one and I'll just start doing it. Now, that was long, <laughs> have a lot of hair. All right, but pretty much so all the weird like waves that I have, you know, I still have a few, which is okay. Whew, I'm hot. I like to use this Babyliss, it's called Babyliss Pro. And I'll just do it like that. And I always go out. Um, because I have really long hair, sometimes I need to go again at the ends. And this is like just to give it a little bit of movement. I like to do them inclined like this and not like this, just so the waves are a little bit more natural. And I tend to get smaller pieces in the front. And then I'll go like fix some stuff that I feel like it needs to be fixed. And I never roll the ends. I always leave the ends like this to give that really cool, Beach vibe, you see? Like the ends then point down. This usually takes me forever. I mean, it would took me for like 30 minutes. So, <laughs> this is why I usually just let it air dry it because I can go do my own thing and it takes me two minutes to do it and it's just easier. Now I go on the other side. I've been doing this for so long that I'm losing light. <laughs> And voila, look at that. 
looks pretty cool, don't you think? And a trick that I also love, if you feel like you want to give a little bit more of like a 70s vibe with your fringe, get this thing and this is it. Look at that. Then I love to get this, I love this Josie Moran Argan Oil, but literally anything. I just put, I have to put two pumps because I have a lot of hair, and I'll just put it in my ends to give that extra shine. I'll put a little bit here. I'm done. Let me show you guys. Go shine. Hi guys. 